Bell Birch Castle here, and today I'm going to be doing um, another episode of Rub Tangents. This time I'm going to be answering questions because that's what most people do in these videos, so I figured I'd get with the times. <laughs> there are some really good ones. You guys did a great job answering or asking original questions because usually you get the same basic questions like, What's your favorite color? I'm like, Uh, bro, bro, uh, bro, shouldn't that be obvious by now? <laughs> so, like, Anyway, <laughs> we're not going to talk about that, and let's get started. Alright, so we're going to answer questions from, how about Grace first, since she has the most out of everybody, which, honestly, I'm not complaining, because I'd rather have, like, a million questions from one person. So, <laughs> let's get started. The first question from her is, have you ever played Five Nights at Freddy's. I have not. I don't know if I will anytime soon. I I hope one day I'll, I'll be able to. The next question is, do you have any stuffed animals slash plushies? If so, how many? Girl, I don't think I can answer how many, but right now I only have two on my bed where I am right now, and it's a red panda and a fennec fox, but uh, I have more. I have three main ones, the ones I just said, um, and I also have a... Sleeping Beauty plush, don't judge me. I've had it since I was like four and I can't sleep without it, so I'm sure everybody has a lovey. Like, so question three What is your favorite Missing Claire episode and season and why? Oh my god, that's a really hard but really great question. For season, I think that's easy. I think season three is honestly my favorite season so far. The storylines for season one and two. I had to fix them up a lot lately because they had a lot of holes and they just didn't fit in with what I was trying to do. But the storylines for this just make so much more sense and I just really love how it's all coming together. And uh, make sure y'all watch MC because oh my god it's so much fun to film and we've been having a lot of fun on the premieres lately so make sure to check it out. And episode I cannot pick just because I feel like every episode has so much memories for me, whether it's filming or not. Um, five is, are you ever going to do a voice acted series slash movie for Missing Claire or just like any series? So I dubbed the first season of Missing Claire and I did horrible. The thing is, I would love to actually voice act in, like, a project or something, like those big collab kind of things. I would love to do that, but here's the problem. I don't have a mic, which I probably should because that would make it a lot easier to hear me, even though I yell, so I probably don't need one. It would have to be more people than just me doing it. Six, favorite colors besides pink and purple. Um, thank you for knowing my favorite colors. I also really like red. I've always really liked it. I don't know why. It's just such a pretty color and it can go with really a lot of things. It can be a demonic color or it can be a really pretty color, so. Opinion on SSO releasing too many horses. I made a rabbit tangent talking about it, but I didn't really talk about it that well, so. I think they've slowed down a little bit lately. I think the biggest problem is that they're releasing too many magic horses. Like, Jorvik Wilds, I would- I used to be- want to, like, kill to get one. But now that they release, like, every month, I feel like they're just getting old. Okay, favorite FNAF character. I've never really publicly talked about my obsession with FNAF, so... I would say Ballora because she's a ballerina, so... Yeah, that's all I need to say, because Ballora is the best, period. Okay, are you are we ever going to see your beautiful face? First off, thank you. Your face is even more beautiful, so don't even pretend. Anyway, um, I mean, maybe one day. My plan was to do 500, but that's way too little, in my opinion, to reveal face. Like, face reveals are huge things when you haven't seen your face. I could end up being, like, Elizabeth Riverlin and never showing her face, my face, but... I think I'll just do a face reveal and never show it again, or at least not often. Like, maybe for unboxings or something, I don't know. But for now, I'm just planning to do it whenever I'm allowed to, first off, and whenever I just find it's the perfect time, so, yeah. What are your opinions on me, Grace? Okay, well, first off, you already know that you're, like, my sister, from another mystery. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm sorry in a way, but I don't know, like, how else to describe you, like... The final question from her is, are you proud of how far you come on this channel? Because you should be. First off, thank you so much, Grace. You're just so sweet. Everybody's so sweet, though. I am very, very proud of how this channel has gotten. Like, 
when we first made it, it was really just for fun. We did not care how, and I say we because me and Maddie both started this channel together, because we didn't care how many we got, and I still don't really care, but just knowing almost 700 people who are probably, who are from Germany and Brazil and all sorts of places, um, I'm just so happy. Like, not just people from the U.S., Canada, and the U.K., which shout out to all y'all. Like, just so many people out in the world that are watching my videos for no apparent reason. Just thank you so much. I've really found a love for editing thanks to this channel. Like, honestly, I think I want my career to be an editor now. I've found a love for editing, and maybe I'll do another tangents talking about, like, my editing experience and stuff. But for now, I just wanted to thank you all, and I'm very proud of how this channel is. And maybe, like, the possibility of us getting a thousand is not as far as it used to be. And if we hit a thousand, not only will I have my dream of having a community tab, but also just knowing that I'm going places, and I'm very proud of this channel, and I'm very proud of you guys. Okay, I accidentally just zoomed into Jasper's butt. What is happening? Okay. Next, let's do Julia Swift ring because she has some interesting ones. The first one is, do you ride it in real life? I'm guessing no. Actually, I do, and I have a video of my real life horses, and I feel like have- So many people ask me if I ride in real life. Link in the corner, you can check it out now or after the video, I don't really mind either way, but um, I do ride in real life. They're not my horses, they're my grandma's horses, and I haven't been able to see them for almost a year now, which is really sad, but- Hopefully soon I'll be able to get back on the saddle. The next question is, is your favorite color pink? Obviously. I think everyone can tell that. <laughs> Do you ever wish you could talk to your past self and fix your mistakes? Um, yeah. I do. But sometimes I think about the fact that if I go back in time and fix something that happened, I won't, like, learn from it. I do wish I could undo it, but maybe if it wasn't for something that happened, then now I wouldn't have learned from it and know not to do certain things. Like, I don't know what would be a good example of it, but I do definitely want to go back in time and fix things sometimes or stop someone from passing away or something, but at the end of the day, sometimes those things make you stronger as much as it's painful to go through it. Next questions are from Tindra or Tin. She says, oh, how exciting. I do have a few questions. Number one, what inspired you to make TPRC? Basically, I don't even really know. We didn't, like, look up to any certain clubs. I literally just, as soon as we got Star Rider, that was one of the first things I did, or we did. Maddie made the club because I didn't have enough Star Coins. Fun fact for you. And, you know, she owned it for a while, and then I started owning it um, in around the same year. Like, we didn't trade off, like, two years later or anything. It was pretty sudden after, so. Um... How long have you been playing SSO? Um, I have been playing for, if you count on this account, almost three years, I think. Yeah, three years, because 2017 is when I made this. I did not have Star Rider for an entire year. I don't know how I lived that long. But me and Maddie used to roleplay all the time back then, so I guess that's how we kind of got used to it. Yeah, um, but if we're counting my old account too, like, four years, I think? Yeah, four years. Wow. I, I feel old now. <laughs> Is the Pink Rabbits Club eventually going to have Discord? Yes, no, on, and why? I honestly don't know. I never really felt crazy about calling or anything. Though I do think it's fun sometimes. I feel like I would have so much on my chest to do all the time. So, honestly, I don't know when, but maybe one day. And if we do, then you're welcome to join, of course, as long. I'm going to have to have a lot of rules, if so, though, because um, the club is supposed to be not require it, and I'm still not going to require it, even if we do calls, just because that would be really unfair to a lot of people, including me, who doesn't have it. So, yeah. Um, And that's all of her questions. Thank you so much. What just happened? Oh my gosh. That's all of her questions. Thank you so much. Next questions are from Pearl or Nora over Sky. At this point, I just call her Pearl all the time because, like, you know, why not? Uh, the first question is, am I a good chipmunk? I think you are. Um, unless you committed a crime, I think you're a good chipmunk, so. Two, what's your least favorite color? That diarrhea green color. That's the only way I've ever been able to describe it. I don't like that color. Halloween or Christmas? Uh, I really love Christmas. I would go with Halloween just because it's a lot less stressful for me, but 
I, I really love both. I don't want you to think I'm like a Grinch or something, so. Or a Scrooge. Uh, do you have a favorite pet? Um, not really, but I guess I would go with Tilly, just because she sleeps in my room, and she's just really sweet. So yeah, that's all of Pearl's questions, and yeah, we're just blowing through now, I feel like. Uh, I guess that's it for this video. I want to do more questions, so comment down below any questions you have. Try to make them as original as possible. I mean, I don't really care if they're generic or not, but I would prefer if they were, like, a little more, like, original, so. You guys made some really, really great, um, questions for me to answer, and thank you guys so, so much for all of the love and support. We are so close to 700, and if we make it there then I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, maybe I'll post my room tour then. I don't know. I made a room tour video for Christmas, so it's going to have to come up soon. So if you can get it by December, then that would work out. But I don't know. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, rabbits out! <laughs>